Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to charge this beauty with my off-grid system. Five kilowatt off-grid system. So this is my battery, lithium ion phosphate. 105 mph hour each cell into 16 numbers altogether 5.3 kilowatt hour and with a Delhi smart BMS so I will first turn it on <laughs> giving the power to the breaker here so I will turn on the electric breaker cover this up again right now as per the procedure you have to turn on the battery power first then turn on the inverter so this is u power ep ever low pv 5 kilowatt smart uh, hybrid inverter so inverter is turning on yes this green means now the load output is there so inverter is working fine okay now battery is also now showing as full battery voltage 54.8 and we have not connected utility or solar so it is just from the battery now is running now we will turn on the AC output and RCCB and we will test the RCCB it is working yes there is a residual current it will turn on now first we will check the system with a smaller load Okay, I have connected uh, my drill. Turn on ten. Yes. Let's take the output watts. Yes. Load is zero watts now. Okay, we will check. Uh, 209 watts and system is working fine okay now I have connected the charger and we will turn on the power and see what happens it's showing an error We will see what the problem is now I will turn on the utility power and make the inverter in the bypass mode utility power on and inverter went into utility mode or bypass mode it is showing bypass now we will give the power to the charger and see what happens okay three two one go yes it is working now so in the bypass mode there is no issue so this is the issue if 
should check the voltage between the live and the earth in the bypass mode so it is showing as 175 now i will turn off the utility now see what happens there is no voltage between the live and the earth Therefore, the charger will detect it as an earth fault and it will not turn on. So it is because this uh, EP ever hybrid inverter, there is no connection between the earth and the neutral from inside the inverter. Now we will check with them whether uh, it is advisable to connect the uh, neutral and earth from outside okay the manufacturer has confirmed me that connecting the neutral and uh, earth uh, externally is not a problem so I have done that temporarily like this now I will plug it in and I will turn off the utility now the inverter should be in battery mode yes now it is in battery mode now we will check whether our trick is working 3 2 1 go yes it detected the earth now there is no error now we will plug it into the car Okay. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go. Wow, it's charging. It's charging. We'll see on the inverter what is the ampere it is drawing oh the power it is drawing oh my god guys it is drawing 3848 watts oh god and this load is showing maximum but this is a 5 kV uh, inverter I can go up to 5 kV so I am uh, drawing uh, nearly 75 percent of the capacity right now we'll see whether there is any heat in the wires no oh, there's a little bit of heat here yes no issues no issues there yeah, little heat and battery <laughs> we'll check the heat no heat no heat battery is working so, so I have made the battery extender for my leaf using lithium ion phosphate cells so tomorrow I am going to place this thing on the uh, leaf uh, dicky and see if i can charge on the way hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like the video you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you can watch more and more very useful videos in future